Now, boy, Tom is the boy of six. He can rope a steer because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. He's got go power. There he goes. <laughs> he's feeling his Cheerios. 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 Yes, Cheerios, the cereal that's shaped like a little letter O. No other cereal is like Cheerios, the only ready-to-eat cereal with this wonderful toasted oat flavor. A breakfast of Cheerios with milk, fruit, and buttered toast is all you need to give you go power. That's because Cheerios is made from energy-packed oats, made to give you the vitamins and minerals you need for healthy nerves, good red blood, strong teeth and bones. The oat cereal that needs no cooking. He's feeling his Cheerios. Want to help me, Jackie? No, thanks. Oh, it'll only take a minute. Can't wait until after I finish this problem? Please, just a minute. All right, I was getting tired anyway. What do you want? It's my Latin. I'm learning how to conjugate verbs. Sounds awful. Right there. You mean to say you understand this stuff? Oh, it's not so hard. Then why do I have to help you? I'll recite. You follow. All right. <clears throat> Amo... Amos... No, 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 no. I'll say it. You listen. Oh, that suits me fine. <clears throat> Amo... Amas... Am... Amatis? No. Amo... Amas... Go on. Amant? No. Amat. Oh. Try it again. For yourself. That's the whole point in studying Latin. What is, Daddy? Hmm? What is what? What's the point of studying Latin? It's a dead language anyway. Latin teaches you to organize your mind. It teaches you to understand all languages better. I have enough trouble with English. Latin trains you to be precise and concise. It is not only indispensable to doctors, lawyers, chemists, scientists, but it's the finest training in the world for executives. But, Daddy, I don't want to be an executive. I want to be just a housewife. Well, being just a housewife is a big job. It takes just as much executive ability to run a home as it does a business. What do you think, Daddy? Mm, I suppose it does, in a smaller way, of course. In a smaller way? Oh, I'll get it. Special delivery. Oh, thank you. Did you study Latin, Daddy? I certainly did. I even taught it for a while. Gee, you must have lots of executive ability. A large portion of my executive ability could be attributed to my early Latin training. Now, Joyce, do you see why you have to study Latin? I guess so. <laughs> Hamo, Hamas, Hamat, Hamas. Sue, hmm? guess who's getting married? Who? My old school chum, Bernie Smedley. You mean old maid Bernice finally caught herself a husband? Well, that isn't a very nice way to put it. When a woman takes time out for a career, she's called an old maid. And when she marries early and uses her ability to run a home as I did, she's called just a housewife. Oh, no, no, no. When's the wedding? In two weeks. She wants me to come over to Centerville and help her plan the reception. She's invited me for the whole week before the wedding. Huh? And listen, Stu, I am counting on you to be my matron of honor. How romantic. So if you can come over tomorrow and spend the night... We can pick out my wedding dress together. Oh, Mother, how exciting. You're going, aren't you? Well, I suppose I could go for the two days, but I don't see how I can go to the wedding. I couldn't possibly be away a whole week. Why not? Well, I can't leave my family with no one to take care of them. Go on, Mom. We don't mind. Besides, it's just the time I planned the house cleaning. Oh, the basement has to be cleaned and the windows washed and the rugs taken up. I know what I can do. What? I'll call Aunt Carrie. She'd be glad to take no, over. No, no, no. Wait a minute, June. The last time Aunt Carrie was here, the whole place was disrupted for weeks. She's an old sourpuss. And she doesn't like Drexel. She'll have things so disorganized. We'll never get them untangled. Daddy! Huh? Daddy, Daddy, that's it! What's it? What does Latin teach you, Daddy? Don't start that again. I explained it very clearly. Latin teaches you executive ability. Yeah. Mommy says that's what it takes to run a house. Yeah. So, why don't you take over? I don't think you quite understood your father, dear. Latin can teach you a lot of things, but running a household requires experience, too. Now, Aunt Carrie... Well, no wait a minute, June. I've had a good deal of experience running a school, and you must admit that's a lot more complicated than merely running a house. 
I'll admit nothing of the sort. A little timing and organization and houses would run themselves. Oh, they would. Well, perhaps you'd like to show me how. I'd be glad to. Women make far too much of it anyway. Oh, they do. <laughs> All right, I'll go to Centerville tomorrow. That will give you two whole days to prove you can get along without me or Aunt Carrie. Then you have nothing more to worry about. <laughs> Did you get Mother to the train all right, Dad? Of course. Promptness is a fundamental rule for any executive. In exactly ten minutes, I want you, Jackie, and Willie to report to me in the living room, ready to go to work. Gosh. First executive vice president reporting for duty, sir. Second executive vice president reporting for duty, chief. Third and foremost executive in charge of lawn mowing and raking knees, reporting for duty, Your Honor. We are faced with a serious problem. Mrs. Irwin threatens to inflict us with Aunt Carrie. Mrs. Irwin, that's Mom. And we have until tomorrow afternoon to prove our self-sufficiency. I have prepared your individual list of chores for the day. They tell you just what you are to do and the amount of time allowed each job. What are the clocks for, Dad? As you start each job, you set the alarm to ring at the end of the allotted time. But, Daddy... How can we do... All of this. Remember Aunt Carrie. Yes, Daddy. Remember Aunt Carrie. This is going to take a powerful lot of remembering. Now, study your worksheets closely. The jobs fit together. Jackie, you will vacuum this room while Joyce does the dishes, and then you will mop the kitchen floor when she's through. Joyce goes on to her next job. Who's going to assemble the vacuum? I always do it wrong. I'll do that. Willie, is your list clear? Yes, sir. But I'm going to need a slower clock, Your Honor. Well, don't worry. I've arranged my schedule to be able to help anyone who doesn't finish on time. Where's your list, Dad? Right up here. I know every move I'm going to make all day long. What's your first job? First, I'm going to do the marketing. Shouldn't I go with you? You stay with the dishes. Don't forget to assemble a vacuum, Dad. And see that there's enough soap powder for the dishes. I know there's enough grass for the lawnmower. Don't worry about me, sir. Synchronized clocks. Oh, yes. It's exactly 9.30. All right, now come on. You get to the dishes, Joyce. I'll put the vacuum together for you, Jackie. Come on, Willie. These things are simple. Greatest time savers in the world. Uh, yes, Daddy, but don't you think... No, 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 it's all right. Plug it in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Wrong hand. Are we still on the schedule, Daddy? I've allowed for mistakes. This room needed dusting anyway. Yeah. Now, there you are. I'm going to the market. I'm beginning to appreciate Aunt Carrie. I'm all I'm all I'm all. I'm sorry. I didn't know they were yours. I was afraid somebody might step over them. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you. There you are. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. They're so fragile. I used to pinch them, too, but now I just seem to know when they arrive. Oh. I never know until I eat them. How many people? Four. Two pounds will be plenty. There you are. Thank you. <laughs> How did you do that? Oh, I just seem to have a feeling for it. Uh -huh.
Oh, 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 you're dripping. Huh? <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's the tomatoes. Yeah, sorry I didn't get here sooner. You'll have to charge it off to experience. Oh. Everything's on the bottom, soft things on top. What'll I do with them? Well, they'll make fine tomato soup. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, this yeah. used to happen to me every time my wife sent me out shopping. Every day. This is my own idea. I'm organizing the household while my wife's away. Oh, I see. Well, let me know if you need any help. I'll manage. Thank you. Schedule? Yes, yes. I'm sorry about everything. Oh, well, never mind. They needed rearranging anyway, but I'll have to ask the boss about this. If there's any damage, let me know. I, I, yes. <laughs> well, I, can I... Uh... Oh, no, never mind. I'll do it myself. Wouldn't want you to get off your schedule. No. Well, thank you very much. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Well, it's all right. I keep this for emergencies. So many husbands shopping these days. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> yes. Well. That's what did it. <laughs> First-timer. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. Oh, goodness, it was nothing. I enjoyed it. You like it here? Huh? Oh, my, yes. Got started shopping for my wife, met so many lovely people, I, I finally asked for a job. Oh. oh, by the way, my name's Donald. Next time you come in, look me up. I'm sort of a husband consultant. Thanks, I will. And if you're ever near the school, drop in. Oh, my name is Irwin. Irwin, imagine that. Say, I know your wife very well. Comes in here often. Lovely lady, simply lovely. <laughs> very efficient. Yeah. You know, I might come in to see you one of these days. I'm thinking of attending your night school. Be glad to advise you. Oh, won't be necessary. I'm going to take a course in Latin. The best thing in the world to develop the mind. Yes. Pretty professional, huh? Hmm, did you miss any of the spots? Nope, I went over them all twice. Right on time, too. <laughs> oh. oh, Daddy! Broken eggs all over my plant floor! Oh. Does the schedule say this will happen, too, Daddy? In a way. Who does it say has to clean it up? Oh, I'll mop the floor again myself. When? Right now. Come on, let's get busy around here and show a little spirit. Follow the schedule. Okay, Pop. Huh? E pluribus unum. Yeah. Oh, Daddy, scrape them up first. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What am I going to do with these ashes? The trash may not come around next week. I'll put them on the box out in the back. Oh, oh. look out the floor, Slick. What'd you say, Mr. Irvin? All right, Willie. Get up. Get up. We'll do it again. Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. How 
are we doing, Dad? Are we on schedule? Oh, yes. Oh! Big toys! Oh, Dad, I'm sorry. Stop it. Hey. Gee, you look all off schedule. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, I finished my list. How about you, Jackie? My list finished me. Well, there you are, right on schedule. Nothing like organization. I feel like organized starvation. When do we eat? Well, just as soon as your mother has... Oh. What's the matter, Daddy? Doesn't the list include eating? Oh, yes, of course. It's, well, <laughs> since we've worked so hard, I figured we'd go out to eat. Where do you want to go? I couldn't walk any farther than the corner drugstore. That's fine with me. Well, there's one thing for sure. That kitchen floor has never been so clean. Ooh. <laughs> if we hurry, girls, we can be at the drugstore in five minutes. Do we have to eat by the schedule, too, Daddy? No point in getting out of the habit, you know. <laughs> oh. A mess. Willie! Oh. <laughs> ah. doing? Stripping the bed. The schedule says we change the sheets today. Oh, the schedule. Uh, Daddy, there aren't any clean ones. There aren't? What'll we do? Take them to the laundromat. Oh. How long will it take you? Uh, not me. I have to beat the rugs. The schedule says so. And Joyce? Nope. She has to help Willie clean the basement. Looks like you're it, Pop. Yeah, looks like it. Well, here we go. I'm using this one. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Right. Uh, uh, mm. Two sheets at a time, bud. Just two. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Great invention. Yeah, if you know how to use one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I must have used too much soap. 
What do I do now? Well, there's a mop right over there, if you know how to use one. Oh, I'm an expert with a mop. This should be a relief. Yes, sir. Hey, genius. Mm -hmm. Two sheets, half cup soap, clothes machine, turn switch, wait 20 minutes. Check? Check. Take them out, dry them, take them home, iron them. It isn't very difficult. Check. Two sheets, half cup soap. On machine and close door. Oh, oh. Uh, 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 Look, since you're so handy with this, why don't you just stand here and mop? I'll take your clothes over to another machine and do them for you. Oh, I couldn't let you. You don't have any choice. You're very kind. It isn't kindness. It's just self-defense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. just a minute. Two more. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Now, this is your laundry, and this is mine. You just give me that mop, and I'll return it for you. And you can take your laundry and go home. Oh, I'm sorry, I... Ooh. My goodness, the schedule. Oh. Oh. All right, Mommy. All right, goodbye. Daddy, Mommy just called from the station. She'll be home in 15 minutes. Oh, my gosh. Get cleaned up quick. Uh, uh. Hurry, everybody. We haven't much time. My, you look rested. Well, don't you all look nice? <laughs> Everything looks just spotless. Guess you won't need Aunt Carrie after all. Oh, well, uh, maybe. Of course not. There's really nothing to it if you have a schedule. A schedule? Yes, all you need is a list and an alarm clock. Uh, Jackie, answer the door. Okay, Pop. <laughs> How do you do? Oh, oh, Mrs. Irwin, I'm so glad you're home. Mr. Irwin wanted me to let him know about the damage. Damage? Yes, I'm afraid we had to charge you for the sugar and 17 boxes of soda crackers. 17 boxes? Mm-hmm. Crushed. But there are a lot of good things you can do with cracker crumbs. There's breaded veal cutlets and cauliflower au gratin. I'll even deliver them. But I'm not so sure what you can do with 100 pounds of spilled sugar. A hundred pounds? We had quite an exciting day at the market yesterday. Well, goodbye. Uh, pardon me. All right. Where is it? I, I beg your pardon? My laundry, bright boy. My laundry. Your laundry? You took the wrong bundle. It isn't enough I have to do his laundry for him. I have to deliver it, too. Madam, my laundry is right in this closet. There. Your laundry, huh? Here. Does uh, this belong to you? I guess I made a mistake. Lady, why don't you keep him locked up? He's a menace to the public. Oh, yes. Uh... Thank you. That's the first intelligent thing you've done. Uh... So all you need is a list and an alarm clock. Oh, well, I guess maybe we do need a few other things. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we need Mom. <laughs> Mrs. Executive, I resign. <laughs> Hello, I'm Betty Crocker. I guess every family has its own kind of problems, but certainly baking a cake doesn't have to be one of them. You don't have to be an expert when you use my cake mix. Take my newest flavor, Honey Spice. The men really go for it, and so will your bridge club. 
a perfect cake. You be the judge, or write General Mills, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and get your money back. Anybody can make a cake like that, even your youngsters. Just add water and two of your own fresh eggs. Those fresh eggs keep it moist and tender to the last crumb. Not that you'll ever have any crumbs left over. A Betty Crocker cake mix cake is high, light, better tasting. You know, even your very first cake will be perfect with my Betty Crocker cake mix. As a matter of fact, that's why I can safely say, I guarantee a perfect cake every time you bake, cake after cake after cake. That's right, you do get a perfect cake with Betty Crocker cake mix. And if you don't have time to bother with fancy icings, try this quick and easy topping. Spread a blanket of whipped cream over Betty Crocker gingerbread. Then spoon drain fruit cocktail over the top. Or make a shortcake of whipped cream and frozen or fresh berries, vanilla ice cream and chocolate sauce. Looks wonderful, tastes wonderful. Why not bake your own perfect cake, Betty Crocker perfect, right now? Be with us again next week when General Mills presents June and Stu Irwin in Trouble with Father. Is a boy of six. He can rope a steer because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. He's got go power. There he goes. <laughs> he's feeling his Cheerios. 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 Yes, Cheerios, the cereal that's shaped like a little letter O. No other cereal is like Cheerios, the only ready to eat cereal with this wonderful toasted oat flavor. A breakfast of Cheerios with milk, fruit, and buttered toast is all you need to give you go power. That's because Cheerios is made from energy-packed oats, made to give you the vitamins and minerals you need for healthy nerves, good red blood, strong teeth and bones. The oat cereal that needs no cooking. He's feeling his Cheerios. Want to help me, Jackie? No, thanks. Oh, it'll only take a minute. Can't wait until after I finish this problem? Please, just a minute. All right, I was getting tired anyway. What do you want? It's my Latin. I'm learning how to conjugate verbs. Sounds awful. Right there. You mean to say you understand this stuff? Oh, it's not so hard. Then why do I have to help you? I'll recite. You follow. All right. <clears throat> Amo, Amos. No, 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 no. I'll say it. You listen. Oh, that suits me fine. <clears throat> Amo, Amas, Am, Amatis? No. Amo, Amas. Go on. A amant? No, Amat. Oh, try it again. For yourself. That's the whole point in studying Latin. What is, Daddy? Hmm? What is what? What's the point of studying Latin? It's a dead language anyway. Latin teaches you to organize your mind. It teaches you to understand all languages better. I have enough trouble with English. Latin trains you to be precise and concise. It is not only indispensable to doctors, lawyers, chemists, scientists, but it's the finest training in the world for executives. But, Daddy, I don't want to be an executive. I want to be just a housewife.